Hey guys, today I want to talk about a little bit about uh, lighting in mobile platforms. So, first of all, let's go to the sun settings, which is directional light. Uh, yeah, light source, <laughs> directional light source. Um, the first thing that I wanted to talk about is that if you set the mobility to stationary, you know that you can bake the lighting into um, light map groups and you can have move, movable uh, directional shadows as well, but we can't really have that in mobile platforms unless our target platforms are like, I mean, uh, really high-end mobile cell phones like, I mean, the new Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy phones or, I mean, I don't know, the, uh, the top of the top phones, which is not realistic to be honest. So what we're going to do is that uh, just set it to static. I mean, if you if you have the option to just target, uh, if you just have the target audience of yourself as like the top of the top, you can go ahead and use the stationary. Or if your environment is not that complicated, you can go ahead and use this one. Uh, but I'd rec I'd highly recommend you to not use stationary or or movable at all. I mean, you you have the option to use movable sometimes. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to explain it all. There are just lots of things to explain to you. So my first advice is to just set it to static if you don't have any trees. Guys, this is really important. If you have trees, you can't uh, bake lighting. You can technically, but it, it wouldn't be really, really uh, a good approach to bake the lighting to light your environment. Uh, whether it be in mobile cell phones or PC or consoles anywhere, you can't have baked lighting. I mean, you can for sure, but in that case, you you need to change the lighting channels for the um, for trees to not bake the lighting for trees. Um, so this is the first thing that you have to keep in mind. Uh, the next thing. I just want to explain why we can't use stationary or movable most of the times. Uh, if you go to the project settings, I mean, you can open it up in here, edit project settings. If you go into the project settings, into the rendering tab, you have the option to, uh, it's called mobile shader pre uh, permutation reduction. These settings, they do occupy memory usage, so they're like, they make your game heavier, or if you uncheck them, they make your game lighter, which is really important because, you know, when people are trying to play your game with like 2 gigabytes of RAM, uh, the Android system works in a way that it just dedicates like 500 megabytes of RAM to your game, so you can't go further beyond that point. So. And you can't really render all that information with all of these uh, options when they're checked on. Uh, so you just you have to go ahead and check them off. So in my in, in my case, I would suggest. I mean, right now I can't really do that because I have to compile a lot of shaders. But I'd suggest you to uh, when you're just when all of your environments are all of your environments are like indoor environments and all of your lighting is just static with no movable light at all just go ahead and uh, uncheck this one just go ahead if you want to use any kind of mobile spotlight or point light uh, without shadows of course I would uh, strongly recommend you not to use shadows because that's like another load on the memory which we don't want in uh, mobile cell phones so in the best case scenario I would suggest just uncheck these two and these two for sure uncheck them all man <laughs> they don't work for you but if you want to use a uh, movable lighting for directional uh, light source you can have this on or if you want to use at least one you can have this one uh, on and change this four to one and go ahead and change this to one and if you're not using movable shadows, you can use a uh, movable lighting. I'm sorry, you can uncheck this one too. So uh, now that we've changed the sad changed the lighting uh, mobility to static, let's go ahead and play with it. 
So right now everything's set to um we have to build the lighting, yeah. So let's just duplicate this and simulate a kind of a um indirect lighting around this area. So let's go ahead and build the lighting real quick. Why is it taking so much? Okay. So I'm gonna pause the video for now. So the lighting's baked, and uh, if you come here, come closer to the edges of the uh, of the shadows, you can understand that uh, there's a little bit of indirect lighting, which is if I just go into the world settings, light map settings, you have all the light maps in here on the section of light maps and. Uh, these textures are really big. It's completely up to you if you want to change the LOD bias. To do so, just go ahead and change this to from texture group. And if you put uh, something like three, this would make the displayed texture size to something like 256, something like that. So it, it makes the textures to be smaller, which is which means le less memory usage, which is incredible in mobile uh, development. This is the first thing that I wanted to show you um, to most of the time just go ahead and build the lighting for your level and never use uh, movable lights. Uh, there are some cases, the other thing that I wanted to show you is that there are some instances like, like I mean this is, uh, we can't really see anything in here but there are instances that you have a light in here in this area and there are some actors that are completely black. If you ever come to such instance, just go ahead, go into the material and give them a little bit of emissive color, which it's just, it's, it's, it's a hack, I would say, but it's, it's really, really effective. So if you just go ahead and uh, multiply something like 0.1 to the em emissive, uh, that makes the that makes them. I mean, this is really really shiny. We don't want this in in a normal case. But uh, anyways, you you get the idea, right? Um, for most of its cases, for uh, most of the blueprint actors, you need to go ahead and use this emissive hack to make them at least be visible <laughs> inside the game and not pitch black. Uh, so right now we're um, and these are movable objects in the last light as if. No, not. Oh. In the older versions of Unreal Engine 4, we had the option to bake the lighting in movable objects as well, but I'm not sure why, but we I couldn't really find it in the newer versions. Um, yeah, and that's it. And uh, this is for the static lighting. So let's go ahead and change the light. Mm, uh, no, change the light source to movable. So in this case, I mean, just if if I just uh, if I just delete the uh, let me see, delete this file in here, delete the build data. Uh, it will get rid of all this information that we've just baked into the light maps. But anyways, so we have this sky light set to movable. So if you want to use movable lighting in your game, just understand that you won't have any kind of indirect lighting. So you won't have any kind of fancy uh, interior looking games. Uh, we're understand that right now we're just talking about big environments because you can't really bake lightings in jungles in uh, deserts in really really big environments 
So if you have any of those, the way to go is to use movable lighting. And of course, just go ahead in the rendering panel. And uh, you need to have this option on, but these are all up to you. I explained how they work uh, and how they can really consume memory, but it's completely up to you how to handle them. Um, and for the movable lighting, okay. So the first thing that I would suggest you do it is to just get rid of the cast shadows. So of course, not this one. Uh, light to get rid of the cast shadows which I understand if you don't want that so the next thing that you can do is to optimize the shadows right so the w there are some options in here casca uh, cascade shadow maps you can go ahead and put this value to something like, I, I know 3000 I mean so it's like it only renders the uh, shadows up to a certain point with 3000 on your units radius, which is in our case with, uh, it just limits the total, total rendering, which is great for us. And this is really important. If you put this to zero, you have no shadows. If you put this to one, you get mobile shadows, which we want, right? Uh, three is really expensive. It's mostly used in um, computer games, in PC games, in console games, or etc. I mean, I've never seen an instance in an, uh, in a console game with this number set to three or something like that. It's mostly two or one. But anyways, just go ahead with one and you're going to be fine. Uh, these are the two most important options that I wanted to talk about in, the, in this area. You can go ahead and uh, play with all of them. Uh, you can go in here settings panel preview rendering level android es 3.1 it of course will compile a lot of shaders for you so i'm not going to do that now and you can go ahead and uh try to see uh try to use comment console and stats stat rhi um to see everything actually uh is that rhi sorry Stat or it is for cells. Stat GPU. Okay, shadow projection is not highlights. Okay, okay. So you can go ahead and use this. And one of the things that uh, was really really helpful to me was um, to understand the, how the performance will look in mobile devices was stat units. It doesn't really uh, show you a lot in here, but it will show you a handful amount of information inside your mobile device. Uh, there will be uh, a memory usage in here as well, which is really, really important when it comes to development in mobile. So remember, stat unit and stat GPU and stat RHI are... Stat RHI is really important because it shows how many uh, cells are you are drawing to the screen which in our case it's just wonderful if you have like 300 something 400 up to 700 it's wonderful but uh, remember 2000 3000 is for console games not for a mobile game that's really important stat or hi and um that's it it's really so about the i would not go with the th 3000 i would go with something like this let's see yeah you have a little bit of shadows but you are limiting the the rendering a lot which in our case is really is just wonderful and that's it guys if you've enjoyed it please hit that like button if you have any kind of request for me to explain or anything like that please uh tell me inside the comment section and if you have any kind of questions uh please use that comment section as well i hope you are having a great day and cheers